Hello, everybody. This is I. L. L. B. Cluck the claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive style's not going anywhere. Lunchbox. So, it's been a while. Yes, I'm speaking in a Klinglish accent because it just felt right. I'm just so so much has happened that I can't even begin to explain. I just feel so invigorated and so lively and so free. I don't give a shit if people want to say that I am clinsane or off my meds because I'm speaking this way. This is this is something that I can enjoy doing sometimes. It feels right. Sometimes. Sometimes it just kind of comes over me. I've been watching a lot of British shows on Netflix, so I'm sure that's been a, an inspiration, so to speak. I'm really in a good place, and I've missed you all dearly, and I'm really sorry to anyone that I have upset or worried. I really just needed time away from the internet to work on myself, to just be the person that I knew I've always meant to be. Like, I have always been myself. I've always been someone who just does whatever, even if, if people don't like it. But I really started to get, like, like, I've literally done this since I was, like, seven or eight, like, just talking in an English accent sometimes. And kids at school thought I was weird. But I didn't care because it was, it felt fun. It felt nice for me to do it. So I can't change who I am. And it really hurt me to do so to give in so much to people and to like, when I said cluck the claters, like I really meant it initially, but I stopped, I stopped like following when I was preaching. I started caring so much that people called me crazy or that they thought I was this or that, all these things that people would either project onto me. And sometimes they were right. I was doing things wrong. I was being toxic and I just, I was in a really bad place. I was in a really, really bad place and I'm in therapy now. I can understand if people are upset with my decision because a lot of people said I should have stayed in the States, but I have to do what I have to do for myself. And I just can't be in this place anymore where I live my life for other people and that's literally what I was doing. I was living my life for others. I was believing things that people were telling me that I didn't completely like truly believe in my soul. I miss my son. I miss my husband. A lot of people don't like my husband. Absolutely okay. I didn't like him for a long time. I think we were both quite toxic and it was fueled, I believe, by the Clintonair just posting videos of him but like he couldn't defend himself because he wasn't there. It was a mess and that's why I was gone for so long because I needed to sit back and like really get my shit together. Like so many crazy things happened in the States where I realized I am so unbelievably clessed and lucky like, I was complaining about comments on the Clinternet. I feel so stupid now, like, knowing... After all the shit I went through and saw there, like, I met people and saw their lives, people who were kind enough to open their homes to me, like... After I left Kentucky, I just, like... I saw some things. I just... I, I went to a lot of different places, different types of, like classes of people and saw so many things that were horrid. I was throwing away a marriage because of something that like I wasn't able to face the truth and could accept that it's okay to like be a stay-at-home mother. It's okay to wait on your husband. It's okay to just like be a woman and I was so I don't know, I don't want to say brainwashed, but I was just like, I wasn't living my truth. I wasn't living Clive the way I truly wanted. I felt like I, w I had to be a certain person in order to like please people. And that's just the antithesis of who I am. Like, it's so absurd that I would ever do that. And basically I need a balance. And I just realized that. And I am, I'm taking my clinication. I have a great therapist named Clarel who is just amazing like she is fantastic she is so open-minded she told me that I'm emotionally seven years old and that I need to like essentially like be more creative and just like like I've been making these like lanyards which is like I'm sober by the way completely sober and like this is what I've been doing to like keep myself sane I've been making these it's like a little crown sort of um this right here is a bracelet with Swedish colours. Um, also, your Protestantsk, um, <clears throat> float. <laughs> uh, your Protestantska, so make a bra new. Um, oh, your can, um, uh, your Tita Alphonse Obey. 
um, jag, jag studerar um, svenska hela tiden och uh, jag är så glad och, uh, um, att jag kommer prata svenska nu så när jag uh, har barn jag kan prata med dem och um, vi kan ha uh, 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 en bra tid uh, tillsammans. Vi, vi kan prata uh, med varandra. Jag, jag kan uh, laga mat nu för min man uh, och uh, uh, våra barn. Så ja, um, yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing Swedish quite a lot as you can tell and I'm just so proud of myself. I am making strides to become a better person. I'm studying criminology, um, not like in university yet, but I'm reading about it a lot. I've been reading this book and I just, I think I want to be a criminologist maybe. I don't know. And I just don't care what people say anymore at this point. I, I used to get offended by the comments when people would say rude things to me, but now I'm just like, thank you. No, thank you for for expressing yourself to me. Thank you for looking out for me. Like, even when you're being rude, I really do believe that people have my best interest at heart and I just wasn't seeing it. I just can't wait to raise my children in Sweden and um, I just really, really look forward to that. And I look forward to just like getting to know them as a person and yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I just think a lot of people like, there have been a lot of misconceptions and everything about my husband and like part of it I think is cultural because like my husband he's a black man and like it's just there's certain things I think that people see as like rude or like maybe even misogynistic where it's just like yes you fix your man a plate at the at the cookout for example like that is just kind of what you do and there's nothing wrong with that like I, I really do feel like some people say it's not clemenist if you want to wait on your man I can enjoy doing that I truly do and I just feel like I was pressured to sort of think and feel a certain way and now I'm just like purely me like I'm just so clappy I just I really missed you guys and also I want to say I am so unbelievably sorry to people who are subscribed to my OnlyFans just felt like it wasn't really right to do that when I like <laughs> It wasn't conducive to my mental health, I realized, but then it felt disrespectful and, and we, we, I don't know, like I might sell cleat pictures or, or we need to work it out because I've been learning about boundaries and everything, like what would be the right way to approach that and I'm just, I'm really sorry, it's been like months since I posted on that and I'm, I'm really sorry for that. But also, according to my therapist, I'm seven years old, like emotionally, like mentally or whatever, so I feel like it's not really appropriate maybe if I post on the, I don't know, I'm working things out, but, sorry, this could is a bit longer than I intended, um, I'll go over, like, everything that happened when I was in the States in, like, another video or two, it's a lot of information, and, like, why, or how I came back, and, like, what happened between me and Tressa, like, there's a lot of things that I haven't talked about, and also, hi, hi I'm alive, <laughs> uh, sorry, it's just, like, people thought Tressa killed me, and it's just, like, I don't really understand that. <laughs> I don't get that at all. So, um, clearing her name, she's not a murderer, please calm down. Um, it, that's not what happens. Um, you're, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's just like learning two languages, your brain gets confused sometimes. So, um, yes, so yeah, uh, till me in my svenska lunchables. Jag älskar dig so make it. Jag hope it's art to do hard and broad dog oh um ja uh the uh soul and queen there dog so mickey mickey bra osigt um uh nay um osigt that's opinion i'm trying to say like scenery i can't remember the net of uh, the word okay i'm gonna go i really 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 miss you all and i'm just so I'm sorry, it just feels so strange, like, talking to you guys again, but, um, I'm doing well, and I can't wait to show you guys, like, my life now, and all the progress I've made, and just, I'm LRB, always have been, always will be, and, uh, yes, have a class day, don't let the clay just get you down, I know I did for a while, I own that, I was toxic, I'm so grateful for my man who 
he was willing to look like a villain in order to like get me straight because he knew I wasn't the woman that he married. I wasn't, I wasn't who I was supposed to be. I was just turning into kind of a monster and he was willing to put himself in situations where he looked awful in order to make sure I took my medication, all these things. So if you still claim to him, I get it because I put that out there. That's my responsibility as well. But I do intend to explain everything and I, and I, I'm fine. I'm doing really well. I just, this is where I'm meant to be. Oh, wow. It's quite loud. Okay. Um, bye, you guys. I love you so much and I've missed you dearly and I'm so glad to be back.